Hello and welcome to the Ward 6 Council Show. I have a great pleasure today to introduce you to two of my dear friends and two of the dearest friends of the Oklahoma City community, Leela Sullivan and Rita Moore. And we're joined with Chief Bill City. Chief, you come on frequently to talk to us about issues in our community and today we're going to talk about something that's incredibly important and I think dear to all of us and that is the issue of of battered women and the community's response to how we're going to try to address some of those issues. And I might begin with you, Chief, to talk a little bit, set the stage for why a community effort that's undergoing is so important. Well, I, I think w one of the things that's so important with the YWCA is there's really not any other entity within Oklahoma City that, that does what the YWCA does with their shelter. Uh, we, Oklahoma City Police Department works very closely with the YWCA in dealing with domestic violence victims and their families. You know, we work probably about 125 cases a week. I think that's a stunning statistic right. that there are 125 cases a week. What, right, and that's address. just the tip of the iceberg because there's probably another 50 percent, there's probably about 50 percent more than that that aren't reported. And then you have to realize you may work 125 uh, victims of domestic violence, but in probably 50 percent of those there's children involved. So you're not just dealing with 125 victims, you're dealing with probably close to 300 victims involved in those 125 cases. And so the, the WISE programming, Leela, I know it's something you're incredibly passionate about. Talk to us a little bit about the programming and how you see this transition that we're undergoing uh, um, able to really help. Well, the shelter we're in now was, we moved in in 1989, mm -hmm. I believe, and we provided a safe place that mm -hmm. Oklahoma really didn't have at that time. Now there's uh, shelters in other counties, but we have gone forward with programming and involvement with the people that find their way to the shelter. We turn people away. Mm -hmm. Since that time, we have given 24-7 service. And when we are successful in our campaign, we will have built a larger shelter, emergency, 85 beds, to hold uh, more people because we turn people away all the time. I understand we that we're 99.9% full, full, 100% of the time. So is... once we complete the new shelter, then we will repurpose the existing shelter, which is still, it's smaller. It is a 55 bed facility. But then if, once your physical wounds are healed, you give your space up in the emergency shelter mm -hmm. because others need the safety. Mm -hmm. If a woman doesn't, and her family don't have a place to go that's violence free, they tend to many times go back to the same situation thinking it'll be better this time. And they return and sure enough the violence resurfaces. The hope is that with a shelter where they may stay long to uh, be nurtured, mm -hmm. programming, will help them see they don't have to choose that life of violence. They can choose a better life and they can stay longer till they're emotionally uh, more stable. Their physical wounds might be fine, healed, but boy, if you don't heal within, then you tend to go back where you came from. Right. And there's a better life out there for all Absolutely. in Oklahoma City. So, and so Rita, you and Leela are co-chairing along with a couple of other amazing women. Yes, there are actually six of us. Great. Yes. And so you're co-chairing a capital campaign to raise the dollars. We and are. We're the total amount you're striving for is? Fifteen million dollars. Fifteen million dollars and that will build this new shelter. It will build a new shelter. It will refurbish the shelter that we have now into the extended stay mm -hmm. shelter for those more desperate cases that she's talking about. And it will also refurbish McFarland to better serve the Northeast segment of Oklahoma City. And included in this, there will be a $5 million endowment fund. We need that Wonderful. endowment fund for programming Absolutely. and very badly. Now, Chief City and I were both at a groundbreaking ceremony and there was a very large, wonderful gift announced. Yes. You might talk to us about those things you can share with us and then I know you've got yes. some surprises for us well, upcoming. We're, <laughs> we're more than happy to share with you uh, at the groundbreak. It was, it was a an announcement. announcement. It was an announcement <laughs> of the Devon gift, and Devon was very generous with us and gave us a million dollars. Oh, that's so exciting. And we were rather ecstatic <laughs> about that. There have been others that have come mm -hmm. forth. 
7-Eleven. Uh, uh, that has it's been publicized, last announced last week. They also have given us a million dollars. That's so the exciting. The community really understands how important this is. And the impact, the economic impact on business is enormous. Mm -hmm. We don't have the figures for just Oklahoma, but the national figures are are just mind-boggling almost as to the number of hours were lost mm -hmm. from domestic violence, the production loss, the cost to all of the uh, various businesses that have where their employees have experienced this. And so businesses and citizens and foundations alike are really very, very involved in this now. Chief, I think that one of the things that's always interesting and sometimes a surprise is that domestic violence reaches across all boundaries. We're not talking about a single economic status or and share with us a little bit of those numbers. I mean, right. you, you see this across every segment of our community, right. don't you? We do, and I, you know, a, a large a large portion of, of victims do fall into a lower economic status, but it's not limited to that. Right. It's it's it really does. It stretches across all economic uh, status within the community, so it, it affects all of us. And you know, and those those if you're not directly affected by domestic violence, you're indirectly. You know teachers in the schools that have to deal with kids that are constantly in fear for their parents or for themselves and even having to go home they can't they can't they can't study they can't concentrate you know so teachers have to deal with that we have to deal with those types of things so it, it, it indirectly affects all of this obviously there's a dollar amount there that it affects us of having to address this issue but uh, it, it does affect so many I can piggyback community. on that yeah. while we're out in the community searching for funding it was thrilling last year before Christmas we got a call this was before we were really on the ground going from a student at Harding Charter Prep wanting to take our issue to their student council yes and the school fun. adopted us I mean they can they realized this mm -hmm. problem exists right. yeah. and it was just as touching as the Devon it was uh, uh, celebration because yeah. Well, Everybody mm -hmm. is passionate. And so yeah. as you're reaching out in the community, dollars large and small are what oh, you're are looking important. for. And large will be and small. And the, so many of the community are responding with all sorts of donations and at different levels. And every one of them is important. Great. Every one of Rita, them Rita, how, if people wanted to make a contribution to this capital campaign, how do they do so? How do they... Well, it's, it's very easy to do that. Okay. Um, in the first place, they can go to the website of the YWCA, mm -hmm. and it's ywcaokc.org. Okay. And there is a button mm -hmm. on almost Great. the front of the website, and you go to that, and it will direct you to how to donate. You can call the YWCA. We will probably talk to a lot of these people <laughs> that want to donate. Did I hear you say no earlier? One is safe. <laughs> yeah. No one is safe. We're talking to everyone. Great. Everyone we can think the of. The networking has been it's phenomenal. Been marvelous. Because yes. we're getting calls. Have you talked to so-and-so? Have you been yeah. here? Mm -hmm. Which we had overlooked. Good. So <laughs> it's wonderful. And I think a lot, of, a lot of businesses, a lot of people in the community don't realize that this even exists and, and, the, and the need for that and how much goes on mm -hmm. within the community, how much domestic violence there actually is and the tremendous need for a larger and better facility. Right. And we talked earlier that women from almost every county in our state have found their way to our shelter. And women you would from be amazed. You would be amazed at the number of women from around Oklahoma who have come to this shelter. You would be even more amazed at the number of women from around the United States okay. who have come to this shelter. Very recently, we had a, thun a member of the Thunder come and bring pizza, mm -hmm. and all of the children in the shelter came out, the mothers came out, he was wonderful. He was absolutely wonderful with them. He played basketball oh, with I them. That. Those awesome. children, that was the happiest Aww. day of their life. Their mothers took pictures mm -hmm. of the children with him and it was it was a marvelous thing. So the community is coming forth. 
I had an opportunity when I was in the junior league uh, to work at the shelter uh, one night a week. Did you? And yeah. work with the children. It was a way to give the moms a little bit of a time off and um, right. ha have some time to themselves. Right. And it was always one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. It has grown in involvement oh, and interaction with mm -hmm. Oklahoma City. Great. And you know this repurposed facility, when it is done, we can't find another shelter for domestic violence in the country that is doing anything like this. How exciting. And it's going to be on the forefront dealing with our police effort, our community Great. effort, our volunteers of the accomplishment when we break the cycle Wonderful. and start getting it. You know, it, it is one of the things that's so exciting about being in Oklahoma City. I'll take a bigger picture as we wrap up here today, but Oklahoma City is really setting the bar so high we are. In, in areas so, across the community and, right. and whether it's dealing with difficult social problems. Um, I'm so proud of our Westtown campus and oh. the work that the Homeless mm -hmm. Alliance has done over on That's 4th right. and Virginia, whether it's in the arts, you know, the, the city's just added a, a individual um, on our staff to be sort of the ombudsman in the arts, which is incredibly exciting. We haven't had that before. The architecture, our maps projects. I mean, Oklahoma City is in the middle of a renaissance, the likes of which, you know, I think is, is almost hard to believe. And when we look back, 25 and 30 years from now to this day, uh, the work that you all are doing um, to help uh, so serve a really underserved part of our community and to make such a huge difference will be so much appreciated. And I, I truly Thank don't, you. I don't think there's a big Thank project you. in Oklahoma City <laughs> that's been important for the last 25 or 30 years that you all haven't been co-chairs of. <laughs> when well, I see that this. name on my uh, caller ID, I know I'm in trouble. So. <laughs> but the we answer has to be yes. We always that's answer. It. I mean, we always <laughs> right. do say yes. So thank you all so much. Thank and you. Chief City, you thank know how much you. we appreciate everything that you do. Absolutely. Uh, been, oh, you're we, we've had a couple of rough spots. Uh, uh, the last couple of months, but um, you always have a big smile on your yeah. face. So. We're, we're kind of in the bad news business. We have a few rough spots. So. That, that's quite all right. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate right. everything Thank that you do and your fabulous, uh, fabulous staff. We are served by the greatest uh, public servants, police oh. and fire, yeah, also in this wonderful. country. And so we're thank you. Very well, Oklahoma lucky. is just a wonderful place to live. Aren't we lucky? Yes, I'm aren't just, we fortunate? Just fabulous. Uh -huh. Thank you all so you much bet. for being Thank here. Thank you. Thank you.